I wanted to share with you an application called CleanShot X. Now, this software you may have already heard of um, if you are a power user, but for those who haven't, I wanted to share it with you and uh, give you an idea of what you can do with it. Now, this software allows you to capture screenshots and screen recordings within macOS, uh, and it sort of replaces the default uh, sort of tools within uh, the system to allow you to do that. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, come to just a website, for example, and we're going to come up to the top here and click the all-in-one. Now, this allows you to sort of grab to a certain area and it'll actually sort of snap on to different parts of the area that you actually want to capture within a web page, for example. Uh, so down here, we can do area, full screen, window, scrolling capture, timer, OCR. This is good for capturing text from images, although this is also a feature that is now built into macOS. You can do screen recordings and you can adjust crop and, and such. So if we want to, we can just capture this area right here. And down the bottom here, you've see, you can actually see that, the, that we've captured. And this is sort of like our, our history part of all of the captured screenshots that we've taken. So again, if we wanted to do another one, let's go to the buyer's guide here. And say we wanted to capture a certain area of this. We could also come up to the top here and choose capture area. And you can use all the built-in shortcuts, which are just the default shortcuts of uh, Mac OS. So we can come up here and select that as a screenshot. And now let's say here that we actually want to edit this screenshot and maybe prepare it for export on uh, Instagram, for example. Uh, so up here, we can actually see we've got a whole a bunch of tools, crop. Uh, we can add a screenshot to this image. We can actually add a background. This is a new feature built uh, with uh, CleanShot X 4.5. And so in here, we can actually uh, bring this out and actually add a, a little nice background to it. So it kind of gives a bit more character to this image. And I kind of like that one. We could also add our own wallpapers for the de from the desktop wallpapers, uh, the blurred effect of that wallpaper, and some other different options, colors. And yeah, so I kind of like that one right there. We can adjust the padding, so how big we want this, uh, this background to show. Something I also like is that you can change the ratio. So for exa example, we can choose one by one, um, and that's sort of a, a more square, uh, image and then we can do you know three three by two 16 by 9 um, or 9 by 16 which is the uh, Instagram's you know sort of vertical your phone's vertical uh, look uh, and so we can also adjust the the corner radius of that area we can adjust the shadow uh, the the alignment so if we wanted it to be a certain area of the image we can uh, we can also do auto balance which makes it so that when you do an inset it makes sure that that center area that you captured is kept within that area so let's uh, let's go to one by one and already like that um, you can see that is a, a more of a shareable image that you can then share on your social media something else I really like about this program is that you can annotate um, in a lot more detail. So for example, we can choose the arrow and we can say, all right, let's link up with this image here to reference this part here. Uh, maybe we want to talk about this area here. And so you can change the colors uh, of that arrow. You can do lines, for example, um, you know, talking about this part here. Uh, same, same sort of thing. Uh, you can also do shapes. So we want to put a shape around this, we can. We can also go back and we can redact text. This is really useful and I've used this quite a lot um, for clearing things that I don't want other people to see in screenshots. So you'll see that it sort of um, just redacts that text. Uh, we can also do highlights of, of a, a certain area. So say we wanna highlight just this iPad Pro here you can just highlight it and it sort of grays out. It sort of, it darkens the image a little bit there and then sort of brings that into focus. So there's some cool options there. Um, you can just do drawing. You can do um, a whole bunch of stuff. You can add your own text onto it. 
Uh, and then once you're ready to share it, you can click down here, share, uh, you can send it to the cloud. Um, and yeah, so once you're ready to, to do that, you can even just click done here and you can click it, click copy and or save to your, your computer. So copy to the clipboard. Um, and something I really like is also being able to have a, a history of all the, the things that I've captured. So if we go up to capture history here, you'll see that we have a, a, a whole different history of all the screenshots and uh, screen recordings or GIFs that we've done. So yeah, you can do GIF recording uh, and make your own GIFs. Uh, that's kind of cool as well. Uh, we've got a whole lot of options here that was already in all in one. Um, yes, you can do screen recording as well. Uh, and if we also come to settings here, there's a few different options. So from here, you can actually um, set a action to happen after you capture it. So if you want it to uh, pretty much copy the image that you took straight to your clipboard, then you don't even have to come down here and click copy. It will, will already be uh, copied to your clipboard and you can press control V, uh, sorry. Command V. <laughs> um, and so you can save it to a folder. This already is set to the desktop, but you can change the location of it. Uh, you can just go through a whole lot of different options. You can set different shortcuts. Uh, and when you set up the software for the first time, it will sort of direct you to go into your keyboard shortcuts and disable the the Mac OS uh, default shortcuts so that this program will be set up to basically replicate those shortcuts. So there's a, lot, a whole lot of different things that you can do with this. Again, you can change, you can do a, a whole lot of different things with GIF images. So if you wanna make a GIF image, you can. Um, and there's a whole lot of other things. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's a great tool. This is uh, CleanShot X 4.5 at the time of this recording. Um, if you guys found this video useful, uh, give it a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.